C'est pas juste la musique jazz qui m'inspire dans, ce, dans cette activité, dans, ce, dans cet atelier, c'est vraiment le fait que ce soit live. Parce que je pense que, évidemment, la musique, les, les sons, nous touchent plus profondément dans notre corps. Les, vraiment, les, les battements de notre corps peuvent comme se, se mélanger aux, aux mélodies de la musique live. Most of us today doing yoga, at least in the West, at least here, are sitting at desks all day. We're sort of hunched over computers. We're looking at screens, which A means we're probably not going to be able to hold a lot of the traditional positions as easily as people where we don't squat to sit really at all so the idea of getting into a lot of these big hip openers when we've been sitting all day can be a bigger practice. You lift your head, neck, shoulders, arms off and up, the lower body stays down without controlling where the back is. For me personally I like to think that what I'm doing is taking this really ancient learning and helping share it with more people so it can benefit them. I tried other things, but like meditation and, and, and stuff, but I, for me, I felt like I needed more physical part of it because I still meditate, but sometimes for me the change of, of being active and then just sit still and meditate is, is like too big. I need to go through something physical that makes me get out of my head, really. It does not matter what brought you to yoga and what objective initially you have. And if a teacher is able to uh, let you do whatever was your objective with awareness, it will start to change. You cannot go too far. So the authentic yoga teachers who are sitting and meditating before they teach a yoga class, they don't spend time on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, but um, so they have three people and if you're good in marketing, then you have more. So that kind of extreme is existing. We need to find a balance. Because teachings are all there, they never disappeared and the fact that people use yoga as business and open studios saying it's um, only yoga for office people or <laughs> something like that, it doesn't change yoga. It just maybe introduces yoga on the side that needed by these people right there. It's very important to have different styles because we are very different. People are not the same, so we cannot all practice the same style of yoga. And for my, I, I not might be comfortable in practicing a hard 
vinyasa flow, for example, and I would maybe love to practice a yin yoga class. Practicing yoga during uh, lunch time is very uh, beneficial for myself but also for my employer because after practice yoga and we actually love ourselves more, um, we get to find our balance back and then we come back at our desk uh, like renewed with a new energy, um, much more positive than when we left before.